Hello, it's Natalie from Seriously. Today we are going to look at bad debts. So unfortunately in the current climate we are finding that businesses are experiencing a higher level of bad debts than normal. If this is the case and you are going to need to be able to write that off in your bookkeeping but before we go into how you do that I just want to talk about a couple of things to consider before you write off a debt. So some points to consider would be, are you sure you're definitely not going to get a payment on this debt? If that's the case, then of course, go ahead and write it off. But have you done everything you can to try and get that debt paid? So have you sent repeated reminders? Have you sent statements? Have you made phone calls to the person in charge of paying those bills? Are you sure you definitely won't get paid? Finally, if you're VAT registered, you are going to want to make sure that the debt is at least six months old before you write it off, and that is due to VAT regulation. So moving on, we'll look at the demo company and how we write that off. So first thing you're going to need to do is find out what chart of account code you use for bad debts. So to do that, we're going to head over to the chart of accounts, which you will find in the accounting menu. We're going to search for bad debts. nothing is returned. This is the demo company and this is the standard zero chart of accounts. There's nothing in there. If you're using a personalized chart of accounts, you may well already have this in there as a standard, even if you didn't realize it. If not, if it's not there, we can go ahead and add that. So we're going to add the account. We are going to choose the account type to be an overhead. We are going to choose an account number. So I'm going to choose 415 as mine. Zero will let me know if it's available or not. Yes, it's available, so that's brilliant. I'm simply going to call it bad debt. And I'm going to save it. Now, of course, if you're not that registered, you'll make sure that that says no VAT. So there we go. Next, we want to go and find a sales invoice that we are confident we won't get paid for. So we'll head over to our invoices area in the business tab. We'll go to our waiting payment invoices because presumably it's not being paid. I'm going to pick an invoice that we don't think we'll get paid for. So I'm going to choose, oh, I don't know, City Limousines. Let's try this one. So I'm going to say that perhaps we don't think we'll get paid for this one. In which case, I'm going to click on the invoice to open it. So from here, we are going to want to go and raise a credit note. We're going to use the invoice options menu, say add credit note. Now what Xero does automatically is creates a credit note is as a mirror image of the original sales invoice. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna change this because what I don't want to do is reduce sales because we did make the sale, we just don't think we'll get paid for it. So I want to change the chart of account code here to say bad debt. So there we can see that chart of account code that we already set up. I'm gonna to choose to get that BAT. And there we have it. We can see we've got a credit note there ready to go. I'm going to approve it. And that's it. That sales invoice has now been credited, so it no longer appears as an awaiting payment invoice. And at the same time, we have recorded the expense against the bad debt, so that will appear on our profit and loss statement. Any questions, if you need any help with this, anything you're not sure of, as always, please give the team a call, check out our website. Thanks very much.